testing components on a mobile PCB has been a big deal to most of you guys here and the reason why I'm saying all this is because I've been getting two questions about testing capacitors on a mobile PCB and I want to clarify something to you guys right here I've noticed that most of you guys really do know how to troubleshoot a mobile PCB you get confused when testing capacitors when it comes to capacitors that you test and you don't hear any beep in any side of the capacitors you will start thinking that okay this capacitor is not working and when you test capacitors on a, a specific part on a mobile pcb then you see a lot of capacitors beeping there or having a low value because i always talk about low value which is a, a short circuit either be caused by a short circuit or blah 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 you will be like okay that section is not okay so i want to explain something to you guys right here so the capacitors that you test on a mobile pcb then you don't hear a beep on any of the capacitor side is because that capacitor is connected in series and the, the capacitors that are connected in parallel are those capacitors that you just place one probe to the ground of the mobile phone you test one side of the capacitor it's okay it, it beeps then you test the other side and it gives a reading that type of capacitor is connected in parallel which means that one side of the capacitor is grounded so when a capacitor is connected in series and you are performing that type of testing you won't hear any beep on the side of the capacitors you understand and the best way to test that type of capacitor is to test the capacitors side by side the multimeter probe in one side the other one on the other side instead of placing the other one on the gnt of the phone and for capacitors that you test you keep hearing a beep removing you keep hearing the beep that is one thing that i want you to understand so you see these capacitors right here there are more than five capacitors in one area so these capacitors are always cpu capacitors you can find them directly behind the cpu because here this is the cpu of this mobile phone and you can find them directly behind of this of the cpu or around the cpu those cpu capacitors always seem to beep or have a low reading but when you test them some of the time most of them are beeping but if you check the reading you will see that it's not zero ohm reading so i've been getting a lot of comments saying why do these capacitors beep when i remove them they keep beeping that's because this capacitor is supposed to have a low value resistant you understand so that is because cpus of electronic circuit do not use a high voltage and when you test and you see this low ohm reading right here that low ohm reading cannot cause any short circuit any half shorting because there is no high voltage running or coming out of this cpu right here and the reason why there is such a low reading right here is because capacitors right here some are connected in series some are connected in parallel and the cpu is integrated with a lot of components that cause a low reading when you are testing right here but because of the low current consumption you cannot get any fault right here so you can test this capacitor you can get an ohm reading uh, below 100 Meanwhile, the CPU will still function because the voltage that the CPU deals with is not a high voltage. But if you connect any high voltage, you will see an open circuit. You will see a short circuit because of the low resistance between the capacitors right here. So the capacitors that are always around the CPU are supposed to beep. So when you are testing a mobile PCB, make sure that you check take a good look at the cpu capacitor for those of you who want to learn complete mobile repairing how to learn how to troubleshoot any mobile repairing fault understand all mobile phone components make sure that you send me a message on whatsapp using this number on the screen right here because i have a complete course on how to repair mobile phones so in my course you will take two months to complete my course but you will learn everything about troubleshooting understanding mobile phone fault understanding schematic reading and all that stuff so make sure you send me a message on whatsapp and i will give you more information about my course and how much it will cost keep in mind the course is very detailed and you will learn a lot from my course i hope you do enjoy this video if you enjoyed the video make sure you like and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel